Hey guys, before we jump into today's episode, there's something I just wanted to add really quick that I didn't add in my intro. Um, I already went out and used the waders. They are absolutely awesome, so I want you guys to keep watching this video for me. But if you guys do want to buy these waders, or if you guys want to support me and get a discount on steelhead gear, there will be links in the top of the description. The first link will be my 15% off steelhead gear, or you can use my code 541STLHG in checkout. And the second link will be to these waders. So, uh, Thank you guys for watching and let's roll into the episode. All right, everybody, welcome into today's episode. On today's episode, I am gonna be doing a review and a little bit of a test on these High Sia fishing waders. Now, they were kind enough to send these to me for free and do a review for you guys. Now, as you guys know, I am 100% honest about what I use. Um, I don't sugarcoat anything. I even told them that I'm, you know, look, I'm gonna be honest about it. If they're crap, I'm gonna tell people they're crap. If they're good, then obviously I'm gonna tell you they're good. I'm gonna give my honest review. Uh, we're gonna just do a little unboxing and then we're gonna put them on and we're gonna go down here. We're gonna possibly try to catch a fish. So there could be a fish catch in this video or at least a hookup, I don't know. But mainly we're gonna be talking about the waders. So um, I've already opened them. So I kind of know what they look like. I'm actually pretty impressed with them. So let's open them up and show them to you guys. What's kind of nice is they come in this nifty little bag here. So um, when you take them off, they have this little breathable storage bag. I'd say that's actually something really nice that a lot of companies don't give you with the waders. Open them up here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna like look at is the belt. It's actually a nice uh, elastic belt. I'm gonna open it up when I put it on. It's just a basic, got a clippy there in the middle. That comes with the waders. And I ordered a large and I think they're a little bit big for me, but I have not actually put them on yet. So uh, we're gonna put them on and see how they actually fit. Coming out of the bag, they are dark green in color. So you guys can see they're like dark green and black or gray if you would call it. Overall, they look pretty good, but they look like they're gonna be way too big for me. But like I said, I haven't put them on. That's how I thought my other waders were gonna be. And uh, they aren't their perfect size for me. Uh, on the front here, you have this nice little zipper. That's a waterproof zipper. And then on the side, it has hand warmers. So my hand can go all the way through it. So you can just sit here and if, when you have them on, you can put both hands in there. It's like, it feels like felt, but I'm not sure what it is on the inside. It's like just fuzzy material. Um, on the inside here, it has another little zipper. So you can put your fishing license or whatever you need like that in there. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the old Crocs off. We're gonna put them on and uh, we're gonna give you guys, you guys are seeing this just at the same time as I am. So the feet, I wear a size 10 shoe and these were a nine to 10 and they're a little bit big for my feet. So they're a large would be like up to an 11 shoe probably. And I also got another pair of waders uh, for Ada to wear. Um, I broke Ada's other waders. So that's why I got this pair. Okay, not bad. I'm actually pretty impressed. So I, as you guys saw when I was holding them up, they seemed way too big, but I'm actually pretty impressed, not gonna lie. The material is super, super thick on these waders. Um, I even showed them to Shane, and Shane was actually really impressed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the little tensioner guys here. We're gonna see if we can tighten these up a bit. All right, let's undo this belt throw the belt in. I believe these waders have like three or four belt holes, which is really nice actually, because most waders don't have, they only have like one in the back, which that's how my, my really nice waders I have are. They actually only have one in the back. So there's only one in the back and then one on each side. Put this guy up and boom. I'm not gonna lie guys. I'm sure you guys can see they fit pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. I'm like 5'7", about 200 pounds, and these larges fit me pretty good. The feet are a little big, the legs are a little long, but I'm, I'm pretty impressed. So I'm gonna throw my boots on, we're gonna go down and we're gonna go do a water review, and then uh, let's see if we can catch a fish. All right guys, so I'm gonna give the like mobility rate a good solid uh, 10 out of 10. They are so easy to walk in, I mean, like I just hiked through all this brush down here a quite a good trail. I absolutely was able just to send it perfectly. 
Now I'm just going to, you know, obviously do a leak test here because I'm walking across the river. So far, I don't feel cold, which is nice. They're honestly pretty insulated for what they are. And like I told you guys, I'm going to give them honest reviews. I'd say they're pretty decent so far. Oh gosh. Water's a little faster than normal right here. We're gonna just attempt to uh, wade across here. And having good wader boots definitely would be a key thing for you guys. But I'll tell you what, I'm pretty impressed so far with these things. I forgot I'm already recording. All right, we're gonna take a cast up in here and uh, see if we can catch a steelhead. All right, so I give them a solid 10 out of 10 for uh, just overall like water usage. They're really comfy, they're really warm actually, which is something that I look for in waders. Um, I definitely would honestly recommend these to people I mean, just bang for your buck waders are pretty good. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna walk back up to the car. I'm gonna take the waders off. We're gonna see how easy they are to put back in the bag and then we're gonna wrap this video up. All right, everybody. So I just got, you guys can see those waders are obviously wet. I just got done down at the river, just doing you know, a little test out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap them, like go feet first so it pushes all the air out. And we're just gonna kind of give them a roll up here. By the way, guys, that little front pocket, super handy. I was able to put my tripod in it and just leave it in there. Pretty sweet, not gonna lie. So let's see how easy this is here. push the straps in and bam that was pretty easy actually I mean I struggled a little bit obviously but bam there you go so now my waders are able to freely dry and stay in their little storage bag for the ride home I mean I'd say that's a pretty small bag for putting my whole waders in so uh yeah thank you guys for watching this episode I just want to say if you would leave a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it subscribe if you already haven't and uh, I'll see your guys' faces on the next fishing adventure